Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing something that I have procrastinated for a very long time. I just don't want to do it. I don't feel like doing it, but it needs to be done because it's starting to get a little out of control. You see, I suffer with this um, ability to just procrastinate forever and I just feel like I live in this chaos. Anyway, most of my tarantulas are unlabeled. Like there was a time where I was really organized with them and I had them all labeled and then as the past couple years have gone by and I've rehoused tarantulas and brought more in, I would tell myself that I would do it later and then I never did it. And now I have so many tarantulas unlabeled. For the most part, I know who is who. I can look at what enclosure and know like what species it is, but it is a little bit more tricky when it comes comes down to the slings. Most tarantulas start off as like little brown spiders. So you don't really know what species they are until they hit adulthood. And then even then, a lot of species look really similar, like Hamori and Smithy. There's probably a few mysteries in there. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we are in my bedroom and these are the tarantulas. And yeah, there's a lot of them. And no, most of them are not labeled, so. You know. So yeah, we have a lot of labeling to do and I'm not gonna sit here and like take every single one out and like show you guys and look at it because that would take me literally forever and make this entire long grueling process even more long and grueling and I'm, I'm not doing that. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to say what is what and make the labels really quickly and then move on to like the next section. So yeah, this is all of them, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so we finished this entire shelf. These two, I'm not really sure what species they are. Once I can get a better look at them, then I will figure it out, but they're hiding and it's also pretty dark over here. So I, I can't like really see them. So the ones that I do not know what they are, I'm just gonna set them aside and we will go through them in the other room where it's better lit afterwards and make the labels for them. But the rest of these are all labeled. So we have T. Elbo, A. Samani, A. Geniculata, G. Pulchra, G. Pulchra, G. Porteri, C. Marshali, which the label's on the other side. It was already labeled. C. Darlingi, T. Abelpelosis, E. Ezademi, B. Hamori, A. Stein de Chineri, E. Uedum, T. Sturmi, these were all labeled C. Versi color, A. Hensi, and then two Aphonopelma calcotes. So that's what we have so far. Next, let's move on to, I guess we'll do these big ones first, and then I have a couple smaller ones over there. We're making some progress. Okay, so we just finished just this section and I knew what everything was. Cerocopelma species Catalina, OBT, N. Balfouri, S. Hoffmani, E. Miranis, P. Machala, B. Vegans, B. T. Vegans, but I put B because old habits. T. Vegans, Green Bottle Blue, B. Hamori, and A. Annex. So these are all taken care of. And I think we're actually going to move up to these instead because I know there's a couple like questionable ones in this little section right here and I'll get to that last. <laughs> So we just did all of these. There were a couple mystery ones. I know one of these is a Gramostola iheringi and one of them is a Gramostola Action. So those look very similar and I need to get a little bit of a closer look before I can tell them apart. By process of elimination, I have determined that this mystery one that is hiding very deep in here is my Lazadora Parabana. So I'm gonna make that label for it. But yeah, so this top shelf I just knocked out is Cerocopelma Rebronitans, D. Diamantinensis, H. Chiliensis, Gramostola Pulchra, Euthalus Species Parda, Brachypelma Homori, T. Apophysis. E. Cyanagnathus, Gramostola grossa, another P. Machala, T. Schroderi, and Homeoma species blue. 
And then there's a couple up here that I didn't label. One is a Mature Milk, uh, see you later, which I'm actually shipping off to Tom Patterson here once the weather calms down. And then the other behind it is a Samuel Cambridge, but I'm rehousing it soon, so there's really no point in labeling it right now anyway. So let's go. So we just did a Phonopelma Uitalinum, Nandu Tripepi, Asian Forest Scorpion, Flat Rack Scorpion, Gramasole Poker Peas, and Brachypelma Smithy. So far we still only have four, five, six, seven, seven mystery tarantulas. I expect this number to rise after we go through this mess right here. So this mess is the last section. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's go. Alright, so I actually knocked out that whole corner. There's only a couple things that I was confused about and I was able to figure it out. I ended up knocking out both Davis pentaloris. Mature male Hapalopus species Columbia, my grandma Solopulcra sling, C. sandiri, E. muranus, LP, Cercopilma species Boquet, and Lazadora klugi, which reminds me that one of these big tarantulas has to be my L. striatopes because I have three Lazadoras and I've only marked two. So we also got Avicularia Avicularia and Avicularia purpua, my P. sasami, and my new T. epicanarium. Epicanarium. So yeah, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But let's go take a closer look at these in the living room and go ahead and finish off the last six tarantulas. All right, so we are back in the living room and I have six tarantulas that I could not label because I wasn't sure what they were. Now that we went through my whole collection, I do realize what everything is, like what they have to be. So when we labeled everything, I realized my Lazadora striatopes female was not labeled. So she's one of these two. And also my ex Amanus was not labeled. So again, I remember that my ex Amanus was in one of these larger enclosures. I just couldn't see them. So I'm gonna get a closer look so I can tell who is who. Also my Grandma Stola Iharingi and Grandma Stola Axion look very similar. So again, I'm gonna have to figure that out and then I have these two slings So this one right here is a Cotsatel species I'm not really sure what specific species it is because I actually purchased two and they were two different species And one of them died and I never labeled them. So it is one of the two So I'm just gonna put the genus name on it and we're gonna have to wait to figure out exactly What species it is until it grows a little more? And then this one right over here is probably hiding because I just misted it down. Oh yeah. I know what this is. This is an Ophonopilma. I don't remember the exact species, but it's an Ophonopilma something like the um, something rose hair tarantula. It's, it's an Ophonopilma something. So I'm gonna hop on my computer and make those labels as soon as I can um, do that. This one's gotta be the Acteon. I'm, I'm sure it is actually. That one has to be the Aceteon, which is a heavy premolt. This one has to be the Iharingi. So yeah, take a better look. Okay, this is my Lazadora striatopes, I can tell now. Actually, a good thing we got them. Woo! There she is. That way, before she molts, she can have some water. So L. striatopes, and that means this one is my X Imanis. We're not gonna see it. It's all the way back there hiding. It actually is water day, so I probably should have done that while I was going through everything, but I just like to make my life harder than it has to be apparently. This video is evidence of that. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna label these really quick. I'm gonna grab my computer and just type up a few things to figure out what specific species that a Phonopilma is, and then we'll meet back here, and I think that's it. I think, I think we'll be done after that, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so here is the X Amanus. I, I'm so frustrated because it actually came out to get a drink of water and as soon as I got the camera positioned to start recording, they bolted back under their hide. It's a shame because they are such a beautiful species. They have these really beautiful 
purples and their carapace. Right, and then this one is the L striatopes. All right, I solved a couple mysteries over here. So this one is an Aphonopilma species Tamalapinus. Not sure if I said that right. And then I also have this one, which I remember the genus now. It is this, Cotzitellana. Now I'm sure once it gets a little bigger, it'll be easier to tell what species it is because I think that the different species in this genus do like look obviously different. So hopefully once we get a little growing, we can figure out which one that is. And then as for these two, I am pretty positive, pretty positive that I have not messed this up. This top one I believe is the Iheringi because it has that subtle little pattern on its abdomen. And then this one down here has to be the Gramostola Acteon, which they look to be in very heavy pre-molts. That's it. We solved so many mysteries today. I feel so much better and more organized. I've been dreading doing that forever. I've been putting it off forever. So I decided let's just get it done. Let's film a video and I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was probably a little different, but like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I've been Instagram videos probably way too much as I turn into that cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring and it's all linked down below and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.